Peace. What to do, YouTube? It's your boy, Central Cali. Motherfucking green. We in the building again, and we about to show you some of our indoor. How it's coming along. How it's looking. What we done. What looks different. Let's get along with it. All right, guys. So as you can see over here, there's fucking cups on cups on cups. Let me see if I can get it to focus. We started a whole bunch of fucking seeds. Don't know if they're all going to pull through. But so far, they're looking all right. Now, I had about six seeds before the all these ones and now I had them in a sunshine mix and somehow they just fucking disappeared on me like one day they were like this and the next day watch I'll show you guys one day they were like this and then the next day gone so I switched out my soil from sunshine mix into this soil which this soil is like um it's like a St. Green, Fox Farm, uh, Miracle Grow, all kinds of different soil mixed together. But I do uh, I have a higher success rate with cloning and seedlings growing up in that mix compared to the Sunshine mix. So here you guys go. Now these seeds. From what I've been hearing is that they're they're either a cat piss or some type of cush drain. I don't know for sure. Here we have our clones in the back. Over here we have some other clones that are in water. It's a different way of cloning. As you can see, some of these are looking kind of shitty. These are plants that were like dying in the backyard that I just like, alright, I'm going to take some cut cuttings of them, put them in the water, see if they root, if not, whatever. So, I just threw a whole bunch of them in there. As you can see, the cushions are doing good. And then here's another bottle of a mystery, uh, mystery clone that we had, one of the bomb mystery clones that we had that we lost. There's like three in there. And then these are how the clones are doing. Now I thinned out a couple of these plants probably like about two days ago so they look a little bit more thinner so that they could actually regrow a little bit more bushier. And if you guys notice the plants that had the hairs on them. Hopefully, hopefully they will re-veg. If not, I'll just chop them and I'll just put them with something to maybe wax out of them or smoke them. But hopefully they will re-veg. So we got our clones that we have growing. Clones in water that are probably about four to five days old in water. They still have to root. We have our seedlings for another batch. We have these guys. Then onto the clones. Now these clones are about 14 to 16 days old. Pretty sure they are rooted. So I'll be transplanting them into cups solo cups probably within sorry about that so we'll probably have them switched over to solo cups probably within about another two to maybe five days I'll probably have them I'm um, just took the lid off of them today I'm gonna leave the lid off of them unless I see them starting to droop and maybe they need a little bit more humidity but I'm just gonna leave the lid off of them Give it another two to five days and then I'll take them out and switch them up into solo cups. And that is all our clones are looking. Looking pretty dang good. Closet's looking pretty dang good. 
ceilings are looking pretty dang good so far indoors doing good we have a lot of future projects to go through these are going to be one grow this is going to be one grow seeds and then i might do maybe one grow of these clones so there might be about three different grows within all these and the clones so about three different batches we're going to have a different grows during the winter time update on you guys as i suit them up fix up the grows and place the plants in there peace smoke one have a good day stay out of the fires peace